Hey you guys, how are you? Um, so have, it has been a while since I've done a leader launch video. Sometimes Dan and I do them together. These ones I'm also going to pull in some friends, some business um, team members, hey Karen, and um, some different people to help me with some of these videos because from time to time I ask all of you, what are the topics that you wanna hear? Um, hey Deb. What are the topics you wanna hear about growing as a leader? And I just really wanna keep these short and I wanna talk about practical ways to grow as a leader, um, things that I'm learning, things that I feel like people around me are learning and wanting to learn. Um, so this is one topic that somebody was asking about and I thought it was a good one to start with. How do you see yourself as a leader if you don't necessarily feel like you're this powerful, great leader, how do you see yourself as a leader and how do you then attract your tribe, the, tr the, the group of people who should be drawn to your life and your personality and your gifts? Um, I, you guys have heard me, if you know me, you have heard me say many times that I believe everybody is a leader because everybody has a circle of influence in your life, whether it's your family, your children, um, the people that you see at the grocery store, your neighborhood, the people around you, your circle of influence, people that you touch with your life um, on a regular basis, that is your circle of influence. You have influence with those people. Therefore, you are a leader, whether you feel like you are or not. So, But not everybody does feel like they're a leader. Not everybody sees themselves that way. They don't feel like they have influence. And so how, if you want to be that leader and you know, I've got people in my life that I wanna lead them and I wanna lead them well, how do you do that? Um, there's this saying that's been going around for a couple of years, hey Naomi, and um, it's called the your vibe attracts your tribe <laughs> and it's kind of this cute catchy saying but it really is true it's a real scientifically proven thing your vibe what you believe about yourself does attract your tribe the type of people that um i guess you're you're attracting <laughs> into yourself it's not always the type of people or the type of action or reactions that you want but it is what you are putting out, you will get more of. What you celebrate, you get more of. Um, and sometimes we don't even realize that we're celebrating something we don't wanna celebrate, a negative thing possibly about um, in life or about ourselves. So what you believe about yourself is very important because what you believe about yourself is what you're going to attract to yourself. It's not what you want to believe about yourself. Maybe you want to believe that I'm a strong, confident, powerful leader, and maybe you do these affirmations every day and you want to believe that, but what you really believe is what you will attract to yourself. And sometimes it takes a little bit of digging to even know what do I really believe about myself, about God, about other people in the world. Hey Jordan, hey Dennis, and um, so what you actually believe really matters. Um, now, Dan and I were just talking about this. It is a something that happens in your brain when you have a feeling or an emotion about something or you have a thought about yourself, something happens and say you feel rejected. Your heart feels rejected and it sends um, these things called neuropeptides to your brain. Your brain makes new brain cells that say, I want to receive more rejection. And that doesn't sound like it makes sense, but it really does happen when your heart feels something, feels sadness, it will go to your brain and say, make more cells to receive sadness. And then those cells, they go back to the brain. It's a continual cycle or go back to the heart and it's a continual cycle. So it's a pathway that's happening in your thoughts. I feel rejected. And then your, your brain says, I want I need more of that. I need to make more cells that, that receive rejection. And therefore you begin to believe I'm always rejected. People are constantly rejecting me or I'm always sad or I'm always depressed. Why does this keep happening to me? Is because your brain is in a, a pathway. Your brain and your heart are in a pathway, in a loop. And you have to learn how to get out of that. So when we say your vibe attracts your tribe, if you're attracting something you don't want in your life, we have to learn because not many people have been teaching how do you get out of that 
loop if it's a negative one. How I keep attracting negative things to myself, sadness, depression, or rejection instead of what I want. Um, or say, I, I feel like I'm not smart enough because something happened, I made a mistake, and, and my thought is I'm not smart enough. Your brain makes these cells saying, oh, um, people think you're not smart enough, so make more cells to receive you know, not smart enough you know, feelings, and uh, you get stuck in that loop. So things keep happening, and it keeps reinforcing that belief. That belief is probably is completely false. It is a lie. And... So I wanna tell you a few little practical things, how to get out of that loop in your brain, how to get out of that, how to make a new pathway with your brain and begin believing the truth about yourself. Because what happens is when you are a child, especially from the ages of zero to seven, um, you receive in your subconscious from things happening, let's say you have a rough upbringing in your household when you're um, young or you, uh, just feel like you can't trust the people who you should be able to trust or something happens to you. And yeah, Karen, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Um, then those lies get ingrained because as a child, it's not your fault. You're just, your subconscious mind is open to everything that's happening to it. So you begin to believe things that are coming at you that are not true, but you believe them just because you're completely open to whatever's happening to you. Um, and this also, I'm not going to go into this, but it also is true of generational strongholds. Something that happened in past generations could still be affecting you. Um, so anyways, what, ha what do you do to make a new pathway in your brain if you continually have this negative thinking about yourself and you believe something negative about yourself and you want to believe that you're a good, strong leader? Hey, Connie. Uh, so to get out of the lies that you've believed maybe since childhood, maybe since generations ago because of strongholds, it's very important to renew your mind. Now you can renew your mind. Obviously the word of God is the most important way to renew your mind because it is pure truth. Also books that are helping you to believe something different about yourself. We call it sometimes in the business realm, we call that personal development podcasts that are good and positive and uplifting and encouraging. It's very important. So here's some practical ways to change the way that you believe about yourself. Some of these things, Dan and I are also going to be going through a six week course with you guys called Blueprint to Freedom. That's starting on February 3rd. Mark your calendars for that because um, any of this stuff is what we're going to go into in a little more detail. I'm just giving it to you very brief and very, um, in a very short amount of time just for this particular topic of leadership. Okay. Uh, so some practical ways that you can change that loop, the, the lies that you've believed for a lot of years is speak the truth. Now, life and death are in the power of the tongue is what the Bible says, what God said, all of this stuff is does not originate with psychology or science. It originates with God, it originates with God's word, but psychology and science have backed it up with proof by studying the brain and studying what happens um, to the brain, the body with different emotions, okay? And different thoughts. So speaking, very important because it helps you to believe the thing that you're speaking. Then I also just learned that writing out the truth to replace the lie that you believe, let's say you believe, uh, you've believed all your life, I'm not smart enough, or I am always rejected. Well, when you get the truth from the word of God and you get the truth from God's heart, maybe you see a vision, maybe you know a scripture or speak a scripture, write that truth out about yourself, about God, about other people, because writing it actually helps you create new pathways in your brain. And I just learned that today. Um, repeat that as often as you can, speaking it, writing it. Also, very powerful to begin believing something different than what you've believed before. Like you could know the truth with your mind. Actually, I am smart enough. Like I'm really good. 
uh, that kind of thing. But you may know that with your mind, but you still don't believe it yet in your heart. So a way to change what you really believe in your heart and your soul about yourself is to see it. Um, get a picture of what, how God sees you, of what God says about you in that particular situation as a leader. Let's say you're talking to God, Lord, how do you see me as a leader? How do you see me as an influencer? What do you have to say about that? Get a picture in your mind because when you can picture something, it helps you believe it faster. And then very important part of that is with the picture, get a feeling with it. How does that make you feel when you see yourself with Jesus and he says, oh, I just love, I think, feel like you're a good leader because I love how joyful and free you are. And people just watch you and they wanna be joyful and free like that. You know, so how does that make you feel when you hear that or when you see that picture in your mind? When you feel what uh, you are seeing and what you're speaking from the word, then you believe it faster. So it's not just in your head anymore, all of a sudden you start believing something different in your heart and in your soul. Okay, so speak it, write it, see it with your mind, feel it, feel it deeply what God is saying um, about yourself, about God, uh, and uh, about other people. I can, in another video, teach you, if you're not sure how to see visions from God and how to hear God's voice, to know what God is saying and how to feel what he is saying to you, I can teach you how to do that. It is open and available to anybody. So just comment below if you do wanna learn that. I can do that in another video. Um, so very important point is you cannot be that leader or see yourself as that leader from outside actions. You can't go, oh, that person's a really strong leader. I'm gonna live my life just like them or I'm gonna do all the same things that they do. I'm gonna get up at 5 a.m. and I'm gonna read the, you know, so many chapters in the Bible and I'm going to do all of these things. It cannot come from the outside actions and it cannot come from something someone else is doing. It has to come from inside. It has to come from you believing something about yourself, about God, and about other people different than what you've been believing, okay? So it has to come from the inside out, not from outside actions. You could do everything right and still believe a lie. You could, okay, it can't come from other people doing everything right either. So you can't go like, oh, I'm just constantly rejected because people in my life are just so like mean and nasty. No, if everybody was perfect towards you and constantly accepting, it still would not change the way that you believe. It is not from the outside in, it is from the inside out that your beliefs happen. Um, so when you begin to believe the truth about yourself on the inside and you create a new loop or a new pathway, in your thoughts and in your emotions, then you will begin to attract more of that to you. So when you feel happy in your heart and your soul, your it sends a message to your brain, create more cells that want happiness, that want joy. And that goes back down to your heart and your heart feels the joy and the happiness some more and it creates more of those in your brain. So by changing what you believe to something positive that God says about you, it literally changes that pathway in your brain that's been happening all your life possibly since you were a child. So you will become confident in who you really are because that person that you really are, that confident, happy, joyful person is actually has always been in there. You just haven't seen it and you haven't believed that about yourself yet. Those are the leadership qualities that you want to begin seeing and believing in order to then attract more of that to yourself, okay? So I'm looking at my notes right now a second and I wrote some things really small, so I gotta look closely. Maybe you're super compassionate. Maybe you're really organized. Um, when you celebrate that about yourself and believe that, that those are good qualities about you that make you a good leader, when you believe that, 
um, more of those people who also value that will be drawn to you. So there are things about your gifts and your personality that will draw the people your life is supposed to draw. You cannot reach everybody in the world, but there are people that only you can reach that nobody else is supposed to reach with their life and with their gifts and personality, okay? So that's why we can't compare, and that's why we say your vibe attracts your tribe, <laughs> okay? So more of those those people who celebrate those qualities, when you celebrate those things about yourself, more of those people who value those things will also be drawn to you, okay? All right, so I gotta wrap this up because I wanna keep it short. Here's your homework. Two things, number one, ask God and ask yourself, what are the qualities about me already in me that make me a good leader? Things that impact people positively. Write them down and come back to this video and comment them comment them. And, and don't be afraid to dig deep, okay? Things that you take for granted may be something really powerful for other people that they want to learn and they want to follow that type of leadership, okay? I was talking with um, one of my business team team members the other day and I was asking her this question. She was like, you know what? I just said that I have this quality, I am strong-willed. I've been strong-willed since I was a little girl. And I always thought it was bad because people kind of told me, ooh, you're so strong-willed in a negative way. But God is telling me that to be strong-willed, he made me that way and it is positive and it makes me a good leader. And I was like, yes, it makes you a great leader because when you believe something and when you stand firm in the truth, you cannot be swayed or shaken from that thing. That's a strong will for things that are good. So you're not rebellious, but a strong-willed person is a good, strong leader. So she wanted to start celebrating that about herself and wanting to attract other people to her that also celebrate and value that. Having a strong will is very important to stand firm for what you believe and for the things that are right. Okay, so number two part of your homework is notice the areas that are negative about yourself, where you're thinking negatively about yourself as a leader, where you where you uh, believe something negative about God even, like, oh, he's not gonna accept me, he's gonna punish me if I admit to all this stuff, or about people. People are gonna think this about me if that, okay? So dig deep, notice how you are feeling about different situations, what your thoughts are, and what your words are about those situations. That indicates some lies that you might believe, okay? So if you're feeling bad about yourself, you're feeling down, go back to the thought that started that. And write those things down, then close your eyes and ask God to replace that with the truth. Lord, show me a picture of how you see me in this situation. Okay, so when you, when you see what God wants you to see about yourself and about God, then it changes, start begins to change the belief that you've had on the inside, okay? So I want you to come back to this video and comment what you see and what you hear from God. All right, I gotta wrap this up in order to keep it short, but thank you guys so much. Please um, share this video if you want to. I'll also post it on YouTube and I'll be posting it on my team pages as well. So I love you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, bye.